expression in the denominator really works. So one thing, though, that I do notice is I can rewrite this. I can divide that e to the x e equals into the e to the 6, so I get e to the 5x. And then plus, I can uh, divide this over, so that's going to be e to the negative x dx. Right? So now I can go ahead and simplify that. And why that's helpful is because now I can break this apart in the two little integrals. I can say e to the 5x dx plus the integral of e to the negative x dx. But again, still, to go ahead and evaluate the integral, um, I'm going to have to go ahead and use uh, u substitution. So, But now, at least u substitution is a little bit more obvious for us to be able to identify. You could say here, u is going to um, be equal to 5x. So du is going to equal to 5 dx. So therefore, I can multiply by 1 fifth du equals dx, because all I have is a dx, right? I don't have anything else. Over here, I could say u is equal to negative x. du is going to equal negative 1 dx, which again, I don't have any negative. So I'm going to multiply by negative 1 on both sides to dx. Does everybody see how I quickly um, kind of set, set up my u substitution in these two cases? Yes, no, maybe so. So now I can rewrite this as 1 fifth. I can take the 1 fifth out. 1 fifth e to the u du plus, take out the negative, negative uh, e to the u. And then integrating them is going to be pretty simple. And I can just plug back in my um, plug back in my integrating e to u is obviously just e to u plus c. So therefore, I'm just going to plug back in my original u, which is 5x. So I have 1 fifth u to the 5x minus, because it's plus a negative, minus e to the negative x plus c. All right, does that get a little rough?